Hey, welcome to the new house. As you might have noticed in one of my recent videos, we moved. So I'm gonna be doing a series of DIY videos just talking about how I put together all the different rooms and some of the really cool projects that I did in particular and how I did them and what materials I used, etc. So I've got a bunch of content coming up here on the channel. So the big challenge with moving into this space was that it was completely different than our last house. That was a really tiny craftsman. This has um, got a lot more open spaces and big wide open uh, ceilings and things. One of the great things is that it was pretty much a blank canvas. Every single one of these rooms was just sort of an open white space that we could infuse our style in. So basically, how do we make our stuff look really good in a completely different type of house? The houses in this neighborhood are primarily some shade of peach, pink, or beige, so that was the first major step, was just overhauling the look of the exterior. So I designed the look of the paint in Photoshop first, and then we gave that to the painters, and that really transformed the way the whole house looked and felt, so that sort of served as the inspiration of how we would approach the rest of the design. One thing the painters didn't do was paint these downspouts black like they were supposed to. Uh, normally, you wouldn't match the drains to the trim, but when you're doing white with black trim, I think it's really nice looking, so I ended up just painting all of those myself by hand. Priscilla put together these mood boards, starting with our existing furniture, for inspiration, and then also to kind of start piecing together what the rooms would look like, and what the color schemes would be, and what new items we need to get. I even did a layout of the entire floor plan and all of our furniture, so we could figure out what each room would be, and what would actually fit where. We installed all new lighting fixtures around the house. Some of them were very high up and tricky to get to. We tried to keep a pretty cohesive look throughout using mostly these globe pendants, um, just with different color schemes depending on what room they were in. We saved some money by buying this cheaper IKEA fixture that comes silver, but then I just spray painted matte black. This house came with entirely gold and crystal hardware everywhere, so I wanted to change that to matte black. So then a bathroom fixture like this ends up looking more like this. I think it looks more modern and elegant, plus then when you do leave one piece of gold like this faucet, it actually pops even more. I spray painted the existing gold shower railing matte black, and I added this wooden floating shelf. The kitchen also had all gold and crystal hardware, but luckily since the base of everything is just white, it's really easy to swap it out and change the look. Some doors didn't have any knobs at all, so I wanted to just add them in. So for those, I just had to drill new holes and pop them in and then flesh out all the rest of the knobs and handles with matte black. I still gotta replace the hinges with black ones too, but I just haven't gotten around to that yet. The primary bathroom also had a lot of gold and crystal hardware, but we did want this to have a more luxurious high-end feel, so I just changed a few subtle things, and then I swapped out the knobs with these really nice brass knobs. This gives a really high-end feel with being a little bit more modern, and we could use these same knobs on all the furniture in the primary bedroom so that it all ties together. There's this arched window in the primary bedroom, but it faces directly out to the neighbor's house and window, which is a little awkward. So I just used this frosted spray. So now the light comes through, we don't have to close these slats, but it's totally private. For the entryway, I printed out this photo of Priscilla and the puppies walking at the Colorado Street Bridge as a big poster. And then I just put it in a pretty cheap Ikea frame. That way we can hang that up in our entryway and have a little bit of Pasadena here at the new house. I took the front porch light down a notch too. I wanted to upgrade the front door handle and lock so we could just have one key and make it a smart lock, but I realized right away that the original holes for this door were not a standard size, so I had to bore new holes for the standard dimensions for both the deadbolt and the latch, and then I had to fill in this extra gap that was left over, so I just made a little custom filler piece out of wood and stuffed that in there. Then I covered everything with a wood filler, let that dry, sanded it, once I painted, the latch and lock were ready, and this is the Level Lock Plus, so it works with Apple HomeKit, which means I can open it with my Apple Watch, which is awesome. All right, so there's a whole lot more to come, including my office, the music lounge, and the slatted wall project, which was a lot of fun, and the entertainment slash karaoke room back there. So stay tuned for all that stuff.